r slash ask reddit what's something that you like but hate the fan base reddit culture can be annoying to me a lot of times the quippy nature of reddit is starting to get on my nerves someone can post a comment about something semi-serious and 80 percent of the time below it there's going to be a pun or some comment trying really hard to be funny which is more points than the original comment and a whole bunch of rewards i rarely find them funny and i'm guessing people just upvote for the sake of it being a pun doctor who and sherlock i used to really casually enjoy these things but the amount of weirdness around people who are obsessed with the two of these things turned me off of it quite a bit. Add in supernatural and you've got a boiling pot of fandom crazy. The Super Halokians. Rick and Morty. I love the show but some of the fans are really weird. I actively avoided watching the show for a long time because of how stupid their fanbase came across. When I finally did, it became one of my all time favorites. You're just not gonna catch me squirming on a McDonald's floor yelling about Zechelin sauce. Pretty sure that kid was legitimately retarded. Like, I don't see how anyone could do that and not be. Magic the Gathering. The stigmas behind what people imagine a magic player to be bothers me. The general player probably hates something in the game I genuinely enjoy. And the people I've played with outside my family have ruined me wanting to support my local game store because I don't want to deal with the other people that play. I used to love playing back around 2010 to 2012, but eventually drifted away from it as I got more busy with work and other hobbies. I have thought about going back. But I don't think I could handle the community like I used to. So much a social behavior and general irritation from hyperjeeks. I'm so fortunate to have a core group of friends who love the game and are enjoyable people. If you spend enough time in a fanbase eventually you'll hate it. So all of them. This is so true. I used to be in a ton of fandoms. Grew disillusioned. And now just occasionally interact with it but not as much as I used to. The Nightmare Before Christmas and other Tim Burton-esque films. This fanbase was larger back in the early 2000s when the emo platforms of old were prolific with fanfic, posts and badly drawn art and low-res screenshots pasted with animated glitter love heart stickers. Nowadays it's not so prominently featured on social medias, but I know more than a fair few full-grown adults that still fawn over Jack Skellington and Sally in the most cringe-worthy ways. My ex-wife was absolutely obsessed with this movie. It was so much that it kinda made me dislike the movie. Weirdly enough for me it's the WWE. Especially with Raw and Smackdown right now. It seems that majority of the fan base want everyone to be over and no one to be over at the same time. I really just want to watch some super freak humans throw each other through tables. That's what I'm about. Hey they should push this wrestler. That wrestler is over pushed now and I hate him. 21 Pilots plus Rick and Morty oof. The 21 Pilots sub used to be small enough to actually converse about the band. But I had to unsubscribe because I couldn't take the cringe of it anymore. If only tweens knew they are just two dudes instead of the gods they've made them out to be. I went to a show I think like 2 or 3 years ago. Jesus a lot of people do in fact treat them like gods. Beyonce. I think her music is good and she is a very talented singer. But her fan base, the Beehive, is way too rabid. I once broke up with a girl because of Beyonce. She was part of the Beehive and it just wasn't funny anymore. Sure, I like Beyonce, but getting angry if someone wants to listen to another tune that isn't Beyonce is uncalled for. Especially when having a Christmas diner with the whole family. Yikes, looks like you dodged a bullet there. Tom Holland. I don't hate the fan base. But some fans are a bit creepy. I like Tom Holland's acting. He's a good actor. And I am a fan. But sometimes I get creeped out by his fans. Like I'll make an occasional joke but talking about him constantly is kind of creepy. Or following him around and taking pictures of him. When you're not paparazzi and constantly knowing where he is. Like that super stalker why. I know that he is a young actor that's in a lot of popular movies. But don't stalk him. It's straight up creepy. Now I'm a target for a bunch of pre-teen teenage girls. Fun. I know some fans are crazy. I saw a video of two girls insulting Anthony Mackie because he didn't know the name of Tom's dog. Nirvana. Not the whole fan base, but primarily the ones who say you have to hate the popular songs and love the Loki ones. 
as well as the ones who talk about it like they're the last good band to ever exist. The ones who glorify Cobain's suicide also get on my nerves. Can I just say their entire discography is pretty rad including the popular songs? Huge Nirvana fan. But you're absolutely right. It's funny because they're trying to be edgy and Kurtish non-conformist by not liking the mainstream stuff. But they're actually just conforming with all the other Nirvana fans. Nirvana was when album sales were huge aka people that bought the records because of smells like teen spirit. Probably heard every song on the album. Dumbasses. You can even buy Nirvana shirts at Walmart and Target. So stop acting like you're some kind of underground music guru and just enjoy the damn music. Everything. People are real good at ruining everything. It amazes me how almost any fan base will have a toxic side, even just scrolling through the Instagram of a singer or actor I like. It's full of self-proclaimed fans being incredibly rude to the person they're a fan of. Like this person will post a picture of them traveling or being with friends and family. And the comments are full of criticism towards their appearance or lifestyle. Or some will straight up say we don't care. We want a new album. Like. Let them live. You're supposed to be a fan. Really makes me wonder what these people are like in real life. And how they treat their friends and family. Homestuck and Undertale. They've definitely gotten better, but I was into those two when the fan base had reached its worst. I couldn't stand going to conventions during Homestuck's peak. It felt like a fever dream I couldn't escape. I remember going to Comic Con once in Homestuck cosplay with my girlfriend at the time and one of the cosplayers walked up to us and licked her. I get wanting to be in character, but that was going too far. I actually really like CW shows. I know they're stupid and they're completely unrealistic, over the top, and obnoxious, but they are so good for just escaping reality. The fans drive me nuts. It's a TV show, not a cult. Let's just enjoy it and move on. Describes Riverdale fans perfectly. Undertale and Deltarune. Both are fantastic games, but I can only take so many comic fan dubs, AMVs, fan made spin offs and crack pairings until I want to foist a tomahawk through my primary motor cortex. Don't forget R34 and the Hante books. At least the Deltarune fandom isn't at the point that Undertale was. K-pop. A few years ago, my friends introduced it to me and I thought the music wasn't terrible so I slowly became a fan of random music from different groups. Many fans of these K-pop groups are toxic and like to start fan wars with other groups. It's way I, I, I too much drama, but I'm not trying to go against all the fans. It's just that some of these PPL are way too obsessed. I hate fan wars so much because usually the artists are friends, but have to avoid each other because of their fans. League of Legend. Seriously, can't get a game without someone flaming. Most anime. Anime is generally fine, until you turn liking anime into your identity, then it gets weird. I find it so interesting that an entire medium of work is looked down upon because people take it too far. Not all but I know so many MCU fans who are cringy AF. Just can't stand the posts they spam. I love the movies though. Not to mention they spoil the endings of every MCU film within an hour of the film's release, usually with cringy memes. Was spoiled for Endgame on Instagram a few days before it was released in North America. I was not looking for spoilers. I wasn't even on a Marvel related post. Still bitter. Hamilton. Oh god. I dated a girl who was so into Hamilton that she would visit musicology sites that picked apart every line for hidden meanings. She made me watch it and I think she was disappointed that my fave character was King George III because he made me laugh. Hamilton is so good, but the romantization of actual historical figures, the terrible memes, and the I know everything about history because I know Hamilton lyrics bothered me so much. Anime. Every time I find one that I like, I mention it to other people and then they feel the need to shit on whatever I'm watching and say I should watch something else because it's better. I never understood this. When I first realized anime was a thing I just took it all in. I watched and enjoyed most of it and never understood how someone could be wrong for liking something. Then I grew up a bit and my tastes evolved and I narrowed down what I did and didn't like. That's what's great about it right? Anime isn't a genre it's a medium. So there's something for everyone right? Well according to a lot of weebs I am wrong there. So dumb. 
Supernatural. Great show with likable characters. But it seems like all the people that watch it are wannabe emo or the kids that weren't cool enough to join the anime groups. I came here to say this. A lot of them also want Sam and Dean to hook up despite them being, you know, brothers. Or Dean and Castiel. Or Dean and any other male character in the show. They're so creepy. The Band Queen. On any YouTube video where anyone discusses a band or song they like that's not Queen. There will be comments about how Queen is the best band. And how Freddie Mercury is a messiah or a god. And how every other singer should blow him. And when someone discusses a Queen song and expresses criticism there are fans who act like it's a personal attack on them and get way too defensive. They're just annoying. Queen is a great band. Freddie was a great singer and arguably one of the best front men of any band. Why not just leave it at that? Some fandoms just baffle me. National Parks. Most of the people who go there are loud, obnoxious, litter everywhere, demand special treatment, act like idiots, get a picture of me between the mama bear and her cubs, I'm going to pet that moose, look, a buffalo, I'm going to slam on the brakes, they whine so much they had to put cell towers in the back country of Yellowstone because too many people were whining that they couldn't post selfies to Instagram. Have you seen that recent video of that dumbass older guy running at some bear cubs at some parking lot of the park? A dumbass runs towards the cubs aggressively and the mama runs after the dude. Such an idiot. Being vegan. Other vegans are ducking insufferable. I think most people know quite a few vegans that don't scream I'm a vegan because eggs are murder all the time. But don't know that they're vegan. Thus skewing their consensus of vegans. I know one personally, of which only told me they were vegan after we were planning a camping trip with some friends that would require us to eat shared food. We had known one another for close to two years at that point. The Witcher games. I love the games but its fanbase is so circlogy and annoying that I had to stop visiting the sub. I've seen people get downvoted heavy because they liked other games more than The Witcher 3. Also, some of the comments that I saw regarding the Netflix casting were disgusting. Crossfit. The groups are almost cult-like and men are try to have you buy their off-brand stuff. Reebok and Pallia Food for one. Some of the dumbest and most elitist athletes I have ever met were crossfitters. Also, functional fitness? Like how does jumping on a box higher than your knees translate into functionality? Show me one peer reviewed paper. I like Olympic weightlifting. I just don't like doing it in the context of crossfit. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.